What's going on, everybody? Eric Lundquist at Stochastic here on the Entrepreneur Channel coming to you with a Thursday night of football edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. goes a long way for me on this video. goes a long way for you. That way you become a prize whenever great content is going live here at our little neck of the YouTube woods. So far, so good in the MLB playoff streets. If you haven't checked out MLB Lindy's, be sure to check it out. I'm back here for the postseason. Been awesome so far, tailing uh, a, a bunch of sharp people as well as all of my bets, which have been Hitting, that feels nice. And also, we had Monday Night Football hit. Coming off of sweeping Thursday Night Football. I, things are happening. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Like, I'm winning bets again in the NFL. That's fun. We ended up laddering up Jamison Williams. Ended up uh, missing the last three rungs of the ladder, but hit both for the, the 42 and a half. Hit for the 50 plus. Hit for the 60 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus. And those look better on the screen. And Tyler Huntley, that was added as an anytime touchdown scorer. In the old premium discord you keep running that game through tyler huntley a lot of rushing attempts uh, over the course of his baltimore tenure thought there might be a chance at the goal line for for a couple of uh, trickery do's if you will uh very happy to see it come to fruition and uh yeah i don't really know what to say other than you're welcome and let's keep this going and you can check out tales that's where you can come find all my plays i don't know why i'm stuttering through this lindy five zero yes l-i-n-d-y five zero fifty percent off your first week or month, again, 10 bucks for your first week or 25 for your first month of the Discord. It is popping for the MLB playoffs. Would love to see you in there, but we've got Monday, oh, sorry, Monday night, Thursday night football to talk about. It's week five. I'm excited, you're excited. This game is absolutely atrocious though, outside of the fact that they're two good football teams. So, well, Atlanta, jury's still out. But without further ado, producer Jacob, let's get to the picks. How about firing up Bet365 at the link below Colorado, Louisiana, Virginia, Kentucky, New Jersey, Arizona, Ohio, Iowa, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. Come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. Push it around your head. Spin it like a helicopter. 11 states. 11 states where Bet365 is now available. Look at the screen. If it is available in your state, all you have to do is bet $5. Check out this graphic from producer Jacob. All you have to do is bet $5, and you're going to get $200 to fire up there over at Bet365. That is down at the link below. Again, it's only for 21 and over, 18 and over in Kentucky. If you have a gambling problem, please call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. All righty, y'all, back to the picks. We've got ourselves the 3-1 and one Tampa Bay Buccaneers going up against the 2-2 two and two Atlanta Falcons. One and a half point dogs. That's all you're getting. Uh, one and a half here on the Tampa Bay side. And why is that? Because Baker Mayfield has been the absolute truth. And it helps when you have Chris Godwin playing at a ridiculous clip here. Mike Evans as well just does it year in, year out. However many years of thousand plus receiving yards that it is now it feels like 500 uh but 525 we're not gonna sing rent we're gonna keep going drake london though uh this is gonna be an interesting spot on the other side here too where kirk cousins he has started to target kirk cousins at the highest clip of anybody there but now you've got darnell mooney 24 targets for him on the season next to ray marie mcleod's 22 over the course of these first four weeks I think that that's a pretty interesting thing because on this program, we were very, very high on Ray Ray McLeod receiving props to start off the season. And I would say it was a pretty sharp little move there. Not that everything I've been doing in the NFL has been sharp thus far this season, because I do think week two and three, oh, I could do without thinking about for the rest of my life, but week four into the primetime stuff. Yeah, last Thursday night, this Monday. I mean, Thursday nights have been the calling card for me so far. Uh, consecutive, four consecutive straight Thursdays that have felt fantastic and also uh, back to back sweeps on Thursdays. I think we're going to have ourselves a little good time here, but we're going to be very, very light here on the card. Why is that? Well, there's nothing that's really popping up positive EV for me coming into this one. And I'm not going to force any bad plays, especially now that I've gotten your trust and getting the go uh, good juju going. And Jamison Williams, the smashes that we've had from those and a ton of football games on Sunday. But let's at least talk through some perspective plays because I have one that's written on the card. I have a number of others that I at least want to talk through and think about. Kyle Pitts has been a stone cold, utter disaster. I don't know what to make of it, but for some reason... He's never going to get targeted out on the field. It, it, it's just not happening for him. And 15 targets now through the first four weeks, we're talking about less than four targets per game average. That is abhorrent. That is not what you uh, drafted, what, fifth, sixth round equity in, in fantasy football for. Kyle Pitts, one of the most touted, touted tight ends to come out of college football in quite some time out of Florida there. It's just not happening for him. And change of scenery might be what he needs he's got a new coaching regime he's got kirk cousins there who's made a lot of worse tight ends things on planet earth so i don't know what to tell you it is it is really tough sledding 
to try to back Kyle Pitts from what we've seen so far. Now, some of his snap shares starting to disintegrate. I'm looking at the under 30 and a half. Yeah, I can't even believe I'm saying this out loud. The under 30 and a half receiving yards for him, probably not going to be a play for me when it's all said and done. Other plays I'm thinking about, Bucky Irving. I do think there's going to be that massive swap that we see into Bucky Irving, maybe playing 70, 75% of snaps. Unfortunately, they just got done playing the Philadelphia Eagles and Rashad White. He ended up showing out like most running backs are going to up against the Philadelphia Eagles. He had 4.9 yards per carry on 10 attempts. Rashad White did. Once you know it, identical numbers for Bucky Irving, 10 for 49. I don't think you can look at it as a one for one deal when one guy's averaging nearly six yards per carry on the season, that being Bucky Irving, and then Rashad White uh, sub three yards per carry. So I'm paying attention to these things, but Gotta say, it's about efficient. Mid-30s numbers for Rashad White rushing props, mid-40s for Bucky Irving, going up against an Atlanta team that overall, I mean, they haven't been all that impressive at stopping people on the ground so far this season. Uh, what, 96 yards per game? But that's actually towards the back half in terms of rushing offense. So they've been a little bit better at times. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's just such a tough spot for me to want to pull the trigger on any of these props that have kind of been shoe-ins here the last couple of Thursday nights. But That'll lead us into the like play for you. The like play for me is the Tampa Bay money line. I do think this is the only play that I, I mean, it's the only play that I've got on the card here right now, spoiler alert, but we'll at least talk through a couple of other things that I want to get to here. Tampa Bay money line is at least fascinating for a couple of reasons. One, there's an outlier number on FanDuel right now, plus 114. It was sitting just at plus 116, but plus 114, even sharp books had this closer to plus 105, plus 107. That offense has been firing on all cylinders. And yeah, I do worry a little bit about Mike Evans. I thought about adding him as an under here in some of these spots. He's been awesome through the early portion of the season. There is absolutely no doubt about it. But you've got a really tough matchup on the other side of this one. Either Mike Hughes, going to be one guy out there, and then A.J. Terrell. I don't really want to go out of my way to go pick on them in the secondary at this given point in time. Chris Godwin should be able to be serviceable in the slot. I mean, he's been one of the best wide receivers through the first four weeks of the season, but I just kind of keep st sticking to my guns. Tampa Bay is an undervalued team in this NFC South. I mean, we're seeing this in the number one and a half on the road, just happier to go straight to the money line and fire it up. Of course, on the way out here, because the lock is none, none. Just check out everything else that we have here at Odd Chopper. I've got MLB Lindy's going. We've got NFL Lindy's. Plus, I'm going to have much more appealing football games to talk about soon, but don't really want to waste your time. Seven minutes, eight minutes in and out here on this one because I don't see any props that stand out. I looked at Bucky Irving, plus 140, plus 145 anytime touchdown. I'm not going to force a bad play. I'm not even going to put it in the lean category because a lot of people really take that as strong analysis. And trust me, I am thinking about firing the under on Kyle Pitts. We could see coach speak saying that, hey, he's not going to be on the field as much. They potentially might need more blocking. Might be a live play for me, though. And just seeing what's happening with his snap share rather than firing it up from the get-go. So, you guys want to check out Tails? Uh, I'll probably have more from this game tomorrow. But as of right now, Tampa Bay Moneyline, that's it. 50% off first week month. Use code LINDY50. And that does it for another edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. Head to the comment section below. Let me know your favorite plays that exist on the board for this lovely little Thursday night football game. Can Tampa Bay Moneyline, that's all I got here at the moment. I'm not going to just give you a bad bet here. That is not going to be something. I did enough giving you bad bets again. Week two, three, there were enough of those on Sundays that didn't come to fruition. But coming off of the smash for Jamison Williams, coming off of the last two Thursdays, want to keep these plays nice and tight and not force it. All right, y'all, let's get out of here. Thank you, Producer Jacob. Check out MLB Lindy's again. It is MLB playoff time. Until next time, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NFL streets on Thursday night.